Hi, my name is Matt Skoberg from Tourism Winnipeg, and we have a very exciting tour today. We're heading on our way to pick up Daniel Reiskin, the new conductor for the Winnipeg Symphony Orchestra. He's been in town for about four days, and we're going to get a chance to speak with him, hear what he has to think about Winnipeg, and uh, everything that he's going to bring to the WSO for this season and a few seasons to come. Maestro! Oh, hi, man. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm great. Great to meet you. Want to go for a spin? Never been in one of those. No, this is my first time too. Great. <laughs> Let's do some pedaling. So Daniel, you've been, in, you've been in town a few times before now. You've been a guest conductor at the WSO. Of course, I heard a lot of great things about WSO and that this incredible new music festival and I have a couple of friends that have conducted the orchestra and all my expectations were suppressed. Uh, seriously, just at the first minutes of rehearsal, I, I found an orchestra which was so responsive, so eager and so welcoming and the ideas and allowing things to be tried out and it felt very natural i uh, you know in an hour time i felt like i've been here before and it felt really really cool what what about winnipeg do you think in in its musical scene or in its arts community is there a certain appeal here that spoke to you you want to get involved with people that have their own voice they that they're not afraid of their own ideas and they profile them the best they can the somewhat um, geographical isolation in a way, in a good, in good sense of Winnipeg, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a heart of North American continent and it's, uh, it's far away to, from uh, any next to a large city which uh, has a symphony or of that size and quality. And to sustain that for over 70 years now, you need to invest and to reinvent and to work hard and to not let great people go and to attract newer blood, you know. Uh, that's the thing which is attractive because the dynamic and the will underneath the institution is so obvious that the, the, the geography and the climate doesn't matter anymore then. Right. Here we are. And here we are at the Forks Market. So uh, there's fabulous local coffee here. There's also fabulous local beer. I know it's only 10 in the morning, but you know. We'll go for coffee first. <laughs> beer in an hour. So the 2018-19 season, what are Winnipeggers, what should they expect from this next season? It'll be your first season as a conductor. It's a wealth of um, emotions and styles and um, um, music that we're going to present during the 18-19 season, starting with, uh, you know, works by Mozart and also Bach uh, and going to the pieces that will be finished the day before the new music festival in January. And there will be great family concerts and there will be great uh, film music concerts and pops and we have lots of cool guest artists and uh, some of them are returning to Winnipeg because they like it here. Some of them are coming for the first time because we made them curious. For me personally, um, you know, every concert I will be conducting with WSO this coming season is going to be a highlight because it's it's like your first child. When you enter into a relationship with a new band, with a bunch of really devoted people that are eager to make a statement, something new, to write a new page in the, their history together with me, every concert, every piece we're going to conduct, regardless of the, the time it comes from or the style, will be absolute highlight. So I think this new energy will be imbuing all the performances. Where shall we go next? Well, uh, we're caffeinated up. I'd say we'll go to a Cinnabon Park. Okay, let's roll. Let's roll. Okay. All right. Quite the hike. We did it, my God. <laughs> All the way down from Fox. But here we are at beautiful Cinnamon Park. Fantastic. Okay, well, we're here at the zoo and uh, the Journey to Churchill exhibit, which is something uh, pretty unique. And I'm, we'll see if the polar bears are out. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my God. These, these guys are really good swimmers. You know they're music fans, so eh? They're really into Baroque. Yeah, wow. <laughs> well, should we get back on the bike? Yes, let's do. So do you find, as you're traveling over the world, and you have, uh, you're conducting different orchestras, and now you're home to a place for, we hope, quite a long time, many, many, many years. Yeah. What, uh, what is it about Winnipeg that uh, you're looking forward to spending some time? I'm really, starting a discovery tour you know it's a it's a it's a it's a completely different environment than that of where i used to be a music director for many years uh, in europe and uh, 
I like very much the openness of Canadians, the multicultural scene in Winnipeg and the Winnipeg Symphony that is very universal and very open to many ideas and you know music in the city is not the only thing and I'm really looking forward to discover the, the great food scene, the art scene, the, the mural. You know our daughter 15 when we were working, walking through the city she immediately fell for really cool murals, you know. These are, there are many things on, on our list that probably will be materializing in coming years and the departing point will be, and returning point will be always Winnipeg. It's been fabulous to get to know you. Thank you very much. Yeah, I have enjoyed the ride and the conversation too. We'll uh, be excited to see how the year goes and what adventures lie ahead. Thank you.